Alright guys, so I have been debating on whether I want to do this video or not, um, and essentially it comes down to what banners are going to come up after the World Tournament. Uh, this is currently World Tournament 18, if you don't know. Um, I'm currently recording this on Friday. So this is Friday 11, 10, or November 10th, so if you're watching this video in the future, this is all speculation. Um, I did not do a scripted video. I use for this for videos like this, I typically do scripting and I get a whole bunch of information, throw it into um, a document, and I go really in-depth with it. Honestly, I'm not going to do that just because it's a speculation video. We'll find out in another week of what's actually actually going to happen. But um, I have over here the DBZ Dokkan stats page uh, dot com. Uh, I have the release schedule from dbz.space and I have the JP stop the JP Dokkan stats page up as well. So we can go over all of the banners. So we're starting over here with the Super Saiyan 4s on both the global and the JP side. Now the JP side we're all pretty much familiar with. We got a filler with one or two filler banners. Then we got the next 120 lead support unit 120 lead support unit 120 lead. You know a filler banner. <laughs> Double rates, filler banner, 120, Arale, you know, and then we got the Gogeta and Janemba banner. And now this is kind of where I'm going to stop with the JP side. Well, not really. Okay, so we, we got to the, up to the 120s. Right now on the global side, we have had both the Super Saiyan 4s, obviously, that was about the two-year uh, anniversary. We got Korra. We got the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and Mass Saiyan Bardock, which just ended. We had Super 17, which was definitely out of order. That uh, came, I believe, right after um, Andra Super Saiyan 4s. Uh, and then we had... Yeah, that's about it. Oh, and we had Kid Buu. So, the two that... All, other than the Janemba and Gogeta, which are going to be a dual Dokkan Fest, the only ones that are left are the Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks and the Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Now, everyone keeps on saying licensing, licensing, we're never going to get Dragon Ball Heroes. I have no idea if it actually has to do with licensing. I'm pretty sure that was speculated by, like, one person and then the entire community went along with it. Uh, we have no actual clue if it has to do with licensing or not. It probably does, but I don't want to sit here and say that for a fact, so until I actually have proof of it. Uh, I don't think we're going to get all of these filler banners. For everything after the Gogeta and Janemba banner, let's just talk about what has come that we already have. We've gotten this to the Bio Broly banner, which is awesome. We're probably not going to get the Heroes banner. Uh, we already have the Dokken Awakenings for the Great Apes, so that's awesome. We already have our Waifu banner, those are already out. Uh, we already got the Kale and Khalifla banner, which is awesome. Uh, we have the Gogeta, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and the Omega Shenron, which is a dual Dokken Fest. We got that at the same time back in August, so that's already done. Um, the ones after this, we have the Dragon Ball Fusions banner, which just came back out. Uh, that's actually out now. Uh, and I believe, in terms of what's available, that's it. So, we are really catching up fast with the JP side of Dokkan Battle. I know that's a, what was mentioned a long, long time ago. I did state it in my other video that I did like this. I don't do these often. I should start doing them once a month. Um, but we're essentially, we only have a couple banners left. Uh, we have the Super Saiyan 4, or the Super Saiyan Gogeta and Janemba banner, and then we have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and we have the Super Saiyan 3 Broly. So we only have three 120 metal leaders left, and everything else from here is done. And then we have essentially all of this done, all of this done. The next banner, other than the holiday specials that they'll probably do, we're going to get LR Trunks. And LR Trunks is probably going to come out, honestly, in synchronization with one of these other 120 leads. So I don't know, because he's not really a, a Dokkan Fest exclusive. So honestly, I'm going to say we are only about one, two, um, three banners behind so far. Uh, of the Dokkan, of the JP side. Well, once we catch up with the other, the current three banners. So three months, and the way that they've been releasing these on the JP side is one one at a time. So I really think that by, I would say, March of next year, we will be fully caught up, if not caught up earlier or sooner. Uh, so that's awesome. Now, in terms of who is going to be available next, honestly, I know for the longest time I was saying, oh, they're going to do the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and they're going to do the Super Saiyan 3 Broly, or vice versa, whatever order. And then they were going to save the holiday banner for Janemba and Gogeta. Now, if you've been watching my videos and following me, you already know that that's what my thought has been. But for the past week and a half, I have changed my opinion once we found out the release of the category leads and the fusion banner. Now, the, well, both fusion banners, actually. Now, with the release of those, I highly believe that right after the World Tournament, they're going to release the Gogeta and Janemba Dual Dokkan Fest. Now, why do I think that? Well, one, Gogeta is a fused fighter, and... 
because he is a fuse fighter, he is finger fusion, it will give people more um, incentive if they already have the category leads to pull for him. Not only does he is he 120 lead for the uh, intelligence type, he hits everyone for massive amounts of damage. The added incentive of having him on the category lead banner is awesome. And because they also just released the category leads, and I stated this up forever, because they just released the categories for the category leaders, I highly believe they are going to add both Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta into these two banners on the global side. Now, well, another reason why I believe that these are going to be the next banners after the World Tournament is, so I'm over here on dbz.space, we're on the schedule, right? Now, there's no actual information to be released uh, in terms of specific times, but if you look over here, everything's in, almost everything's in freaking Japanese, right? Except for some of these... Um, Dragon Ball Heroes, which is actually interesting just to note that the Dragon Ball Heroes have been translated, which is uh, interesting to say the least. I don't want to say anything, but that, that we'll talk about that if we ever get information about that. The fact that it's translated might mean something good for us. Uh, but uh, let's not uh, hold to that, because we don't even have... Well, this is the Dokken form, so I don't believe so. But uh, awesome. Anyway, uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks has not been translated yet. So that is the physical 120 lead for heroes. And the, well, we can't, I don't know where the heck this Super Saiyan 3 Broly is. I know he's on here, but the Super Saiyan 3 Broly has not been translated. Uh, there he is. He has not been translated either. Now, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, as you guys probably saw, Janemba and Gogeta have already been translated. So for, to me, I highly believe that we are going to get the release of Super Gogeta and Janemba right after the World Tournament, or at least a couple days after the World Tournament. So guys, um, I know I did put out videos about fusion banners and this and that. This might be coming out around the corner, so if you have all been saving your stones, I would recommend waiting. Now, between these two banners, honestly, they're both really freaking good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about the possibilities of who they would replace right now, as well, at least in terms of who is on the JP side. But both of these banners are who they are. They're really good characters. I know people say that... Um, uh, Janemba is overrated. I, I don't know why you think over Janemba would be overrated. Personally, I think he's probably one of the best uh, defensive units in the game because he it, he's resistance against all types like the Intelligence 1. And I have mine 100% and my Intelligence 1 100% it. He hits like freaking... He, he's crazy because I, I also gave him max crit. But um, th this guy gives it, gets an additional 70% attack buff. So I don't know why anyone would ever think that he's not worth it. But let's take a look at the, the actual roster over here. And now it's also very interesting to note because remember, Super Vegito and Intelligence Trunks, or sorry, Super Vegito, Vegeta Blue and Intelligence Trunks, the Rage Trunks, were not on the last banner. They were supposed to be. Now, it makes sense because if the Gogeta banner is coming up, you really don't want to have them one after. Well, it wouldn't technically be one after another, but you, it would be very, very close together. Wait, no, actually, that would that's the actual current banner that's available. So yeah, you wouldn't want them back to back. So that does make sense because they're probably going to be on the banner. And again, this is just conjecture. I don't actually know what's going to happen. But because they weren't on the Mass Saiyan and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku banner, they're, they're probably going to be on the Super Saiyan or the... Um, of Gogeta banner, Super Gogeta banner. Uh, the other cards that are gonna, that were available on the JP side were Vegito Blue, which really needs to happen because I need one more to get my freaking Doken, my last Dupath path unlocked. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, uh, Beerus, and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, here is what I am thinking. Because we already had the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, he will probably be removed and swapped out for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't know if they'd keep Beerus in there or not. I really don't care. I don't really have any use for him. I I will have him reverse dokened just so that way I can get like uh, another dupe path unlocked of him. I think I just need like two more and then he's fully uh, doken or full have all four dupe paths unlocked, but I'll never utilize him. But overall, this banner is really good, and as long as they keep this entire roster and take out Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, well, personally, I'd like them to keep Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and just replace Beerus with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't think that'll happen, but uh, regardless, as long as everyone else stays the same, I would be okay with them switching out these two, even though I would like the 120 lead. But that's what I can see happening. The Janemba side would be essentially the same thing. They're probably going to remove Goku Black and Masse and Bardock. Maybe not Masse and Bardock since he is like a non doken exclusive. But since since uh, Goku Black was already on the last banner, they'll probably get rid of him. And he is such a freaking damn common pull for me. I hate him. Uh, they'll probably replace him with the Omega Shenron. Uh, so that would be awesome. Because then you would have... Uh, maybe they would keep both Omegas, actually. Then you would have both the Omega Shenron and you would have the um, Korra the Janemba, you would actually have some really good units on here. Except for maybe Cell, I don't like, you know, Cell sucks. <laughs> uh, that's just a shot at some people that I know. Uh, anyway, um, no, Cell's actually a decent unit. But, um, 
Overall, this would be a pretty nice setup for a banner. I could see them that them doing that on the global side. Again, just guess. There's no actual information about that. But once that's finished, where do we go from there? So this is the this is well, this is back to JP. So this is the global side, right? We already have the Super Saiyan Force. We had the, the mightiest showdown, which I don't even think that's been available on the JP side. So if we if any of you have the Paikuhan and the Goku. You know, good for you. I'm really happy for you. I have them both, and I actually have all these guys as well. So I'm super freaking hyped about that. We had the legendary Broly banner. We had the Dragon Ball summons. We had the Dual Fest for 200 million do downloads with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega. We have Korra. We have Super 17. And if you look over here, we didn't we didn't get any filler banners. We have the support banners, but they were aligned with the um, actual 120 banners. So that is freaking awesome. So we literally just getting 120, 120, 120, 120, and then we're also getting the quote unquote filler banners alongside the other good banners and we have we actually got goku black which is a different legendary summon banner so at this point we only have the gogeta and janemba which i can definitely see happening uh, that would run until the end of the month i would say because we'll see the world tournament should end here so i would say by thursday we should the 16th we should probably get the gogeta janemba that would run till the 30th and that would put us into december and then i could see us getting the um, physical go tanks for two weeks and then the physical super saiyan 3 broly for two weeks and on top of that we would also get all the good deals and all the good stuff that happens with the, the christmas time specials that they usually do um if they get the two category leads here we would actually be with the category system by January, and we would have already done the um, uh, the, go the Omega and the, uh, the Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So the next that would probably come out would be the Ultimate Gohan, followed by Revival and Ultra Instant Goku. Uh, and honestly, in well, then the Vegito. So that's four banners, right? By the time this comes out, another month or two months pass, they will probably, as we see over here on the JP side, um, they're probably only going to have maybe two more banners ahead of us, and we'll probably have four completed by that time and just release dual, well, at least not, not dual, but overlapping banners to help us catch up. But uh, yeah, guys, that's what I'm thinking. I really don't think that the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to wait until uh, the holidays anymore. I think it's going to be next just because it's already translated. Then again, it could change. I'm obviously going to keep you guys posted with that information. Uh, if it does come uh, by next week, I'll be kind of happy. My wallet won't be because I'm definitely going to get some of the sale packs and I'm going to go for it. Uh, I don't really need him per se because I already have a really good intelligence team. But all the other units that are on this banner, other than Super Saiyan 4 Goku because he's maxed out on my team, uh, all the other cards are actually really useful and I would really like them. And the Janemba side, man, I would love another core to get that team uh, back on track. Uh, but yeah, um, if you've been saving, I really hope you can get him. And with all the stone packs that come available, they'll probably also have the blue stone, red stone. And if they do that, I'll definitely create a video going over which one you should use or which characters you should purchase with that. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. I think next week we should be able to get the Super Gogeta and Janemba banner. Then we should be caught up and category leads should start by January, uh, officially anyway. And then once we're caught up in January, assume, assuming we stay on the same pace, we should be caught up by March in terms of banner releases, at least only staying one month behind the JP side of Dokkan. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. What are your theories about the banners that are going to release? When do you think we're going to get caught up? Do you think we're going to get caught up? Um, make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.